Hey, how you doing there everyone? It's Masky Finance coming to you from the country of Panama. I'm going to talk to you today about pros and cons of wanting to become wealthy. It won't take me too long because it's warm in this little casita. I, I believe my AC up there is acting up. Stop blowing, not blowing cool enough air. Might unbutton my shirt a little bit more. <laughs> I'm already warming up. Anyway, don't worry. I'm old. I'm taken. And the business is away for the day. She'll be back tomorrow. Yep. Gone up to see her mother. Here in Panama, it's Mother's Day. There we go. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't stand up. Anyway, remember, I am not a financial advisor. I'm not a CPA. I'm not an attorney. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm just masky. I'm the blue collar guy who made it to multi millionaire status. So if you watch other channels and someone says they've just become a millionaire, someone says this is how you do things and they don't tell you what they're worth. Maybe you shouldn't listen to them. I'm the guy who went from zero to 25 rentals in four years. And I did it with very little money. And people might tell me, even now, people tell me, Masky, you did it when there were more deals out there. Masky, you did it when interest rates were lower, etc., etc., etc. Guess what? You can buy real estate anytime. You can buy real estate right now with higher interest rates. You can buy real estate back in 19. 70, 1980, 1990, 2000, 2010, 2020. And odds are, if everything goes well, we don't blow ourselves up, you'll be able to buy real estate in 2030. You got to have a positive mindset. All right? Here's the con that most Americans cannot get over in regards to becoming wealthy. The majority can't get over becoming wealthy. Here's a couple cons. I'm going to start with the cons, and I'm going to get with the pros. Uh, one con off the top of my head is Americans do not know how to be frugal. Frugal. Americans don't know how to be frugal. They don't know how to live below their means. They don't know how to drive an older vehicle, wear older clothing, not take as many vacations, not go out on cruises, not go out to eat dinner in the restaurants. They don't know how to do this. They don't know how to raise their children. Kids nowadays, Cell phones, texting, 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 texting. You know, how many of y'all, if you're 30 years and younger, 40 years and younger, how many of y'all read books still? Books, books. Maybe you read them on the Kindle version. Books. How many of y'all do that? It's called education. Are you educated? It's one of the cons of wanting to become wealthy. You have to educate yourself. Educate yourself on ways to become wealthy. Learn how to find the best market in the United States of America. You will have other YouTubers that will tell you, do not buy in your backyard, buy in the Midwest. Other YouTubers will say, only buy in your backyard, don't buy in the Midwest because it's, you will not cash flow there. Cash flow is for dummies, you want appreciation only. Any YouTuber says you want appreciation only, don't listen to them. Why? You cannot guarantee appreciation. Sure, historically, Housing will go up 3% a year, roughly, but you can't guarantee it. And you can't guarantee in your market that it won't decline. But if you get positive cash flow, if you're getting $250 when you buy a house, a rental property, somewhere in the Midwest, after all expenses, vacancies, repairs, capital expenditures, property management, cutting grass, shoveling snow, after all expenses, you're still getting $250 a month. Guess what, by golly? You got $250 a month. But can you do that? Can you buy your first rental property? Can you buy your 10th rental property? The con of doing all this is, as I said, you got to know how to pull that belt tight. You got to know how to be frugal. You got to know how to suck it up if your AC doesn't work. I lived in a house for 15 years where it got hot in the summertime. I didn't have AC. I worked rotating shift work. I didn't have AC. I remember sleeping in my bed with no air conditioning and it was 100 degrees outside in an old brick house. I'd wake up drenched in sweat. But you gotta do what you gotta do, don't you? You gotta do what you gotta do. Most Americans, and I will generalize here, are spoiled. Just like globally, everyone's getting spoiled. Getting spoiled. Gimme, gimme, gimme. How many of y'all go to drive-thrus? Yep. Shake your head, you ask, put your hand up, you go to drive-thrus. That means you're not parking your car 
opening the door, getting out and walking some steps to go inside and place your order. You're sitting in your car. You push a button to wind the window down. Not like me as a teenager. I had to crank that window down. I had to reach across to the passenger seat and crank that window down. By doing that, I'm getting some exercise. Nowadays, you push the button. You go to the drive-thru and you say, give me, give me. You swipe that credit card. But Americans are now a trillion dollars in debt. Credit card debt. That's a lot. <laughs> if you don't know that, it's a lot. So you gotta learn how to be frugal. But once you figure this out, you start learning how to play the game. You start learning. You don't get rich overnight. You don't get wealthy in a year or two or three. You don't. You know it takes time. You know you gotta keep working a job. Because you gotta keep working, no matter what, how much you may love or hate your job, you gotta keep working to get that paycheck. So you can spend less than what's in your paycheck, so you can take the extra cash, put it into your high yield savings account. You can get five, five and a half, even six percent nowadays in your bank, bank account, high yield savings. So you save up the money till you get that down payment, whatever that down payment is, maybe it's 20 grand you need. And then you get that first rental property after you study your market, after you learn to run numbers. How much do you subtract for vacancies, repairs, capital expenditure, property management? Let's just say 30%. Maybe it's 40% in some markets. Maybe it's 25% in another market. Let's just say 30%. Do you have to pay to shovel snow? Does the tenant shovel snow? Do you have to pay to cut grass? Does the tenant cut grass? Do you have to pay the water bill? In the city of Chicago, landlords have to pay the water bill. Okay? You figure all that out for your given chosen market. Maybe it's in your backyard. Maybe it's on the other side of the country. Okay? Then you figure out what's your credit score. You can look at a variety of sites, Chase credit cards, Chase bank sites, different banks tell you your credit score, and they might not be 100% accurate, but they're close to give you an idea. Credit Karma, they do it, Mint. I think Mint might have gone out of business, maybe, I'm not sure. So, but you figure this stuff out. You talk to other real estate investors. If you go to your local real estate meetup group, and I encourage you to, you will find a variety of folks there, more than likely. Some are kicking tires. They're just kicking. They're not going to do anything. They're not investors. They might be a banker looking for somebody to lend money to. They might be a rich person. Just maybe they want to lend some private money to them. They might be wannabes who haven't yet bought the first rental, but they want to, and they never will. And then there might be somebody like me when I went to find my first meeting. I was quiet. I sat back there. I chit-chatted a few people. Finally, someone asked me, do you have any real estate? Yes, I do. How many do you have? And whatever I had at the time, seven or eight or nine. Really? How long ago did you get started? A huh? year and a half ago, two years ago. Really? Oh, now all of a sudden they perk up. <laughs> they want to talk to me more. And I ended up being a speaker at their real estate meetup group a couple different times. So it is what it is. So with that being said, there's lots of cons to trying to play to get wealthy gain. Lots of cons. A lot of people lose a lot of money because they're just chasing the getting rich quick. They're chasing it. And it usually doesn't work. Like 99% of the time, it doesn't work. You gotta be like the tortoise. The tortoise and the hare. You just gotta keep plodding along. Take your time. Don't be one of these guys or gals that says you, you're going to get 100 units by the time it's five years or so. I mean, you can do, if you want to do that, that's fine. But why? Why? <laughs> why do we want to be wealthy? Sure, I want to be wealthy. <clears throat> but do I need to have $2 billion? Do I need to have $100 million? Maybe I'll get $100 million one day. I'm not chasing it. If it happens, it happens. And it might happen if I live long enough. And I, odds are I'm going to live to be 100 plus years old. Okay? Is that long enough? Maybe. Probably it is. <laughs> so, but I'll just keep plodding along. I'm not in a race. It's not competition. It's not competition against you and me. I'm not competing against anybody. All right? The other thing is learn to stay humble. I'm extremely confident up here. I am, I have 110% confidence up here. I have confidence in my ability. I have confidence in my investing ability. 
I have confidence in my knowledge to both invest and to live a long, healthy life. But I try not to brag about it. I try not to come across as being cocky. I'm willing to help you out the best I can. If you want to email me, my email is always in the description below. I'm busy. I like having fun in life. But I'll respond to you. I think there's a few that might have fallen through my cracks. I apologize if so. I moved to this country a couple months ago, and I think there's some folks up in Florida that I was had emailed me, and I was supposed to get back to y'all. And things happened. I got busy. Technology issues too. Sorry. Email me again. All right, I'm getting back on track down here. So there's a transition. You know, it's a transition moving outside of the United States of America. Okay, it's a transition. It's a lot to it's a lot to go through. It's not as easy as you might think, but it's not as difficult. <clears throat> as you might think it would be. But anyway, we're at 11 minutes. Was this talk worthwhile? <laughs> Did I tell you anything you don't already know? Odds are you could watch all 600 some videos I got and you won't learn anything new. You won't learn any rocket science. You won't learn anything that's not common sense. If I talk anything about nutrition in some of my videos, which I have, it's all common sense. If I talk any about stocks, buying real estate, it's not hard to learn. I started learning some of the stuff about stocks before there was an internet, all right? And I learned how to do it. You guys got in your cell phone more power than I had in my computer I bought, first computer I bought back in 1995. Windows 95, if you're my age, you might remember those commercials. Windows, Microsoft, Windows 95. That's when I bought my first desktop computer. <coughs> Excuse me. So, anyway, that being said, I'm going to get back inside to the big house. It's not that big. <laughs> my AC's working in there and I'm sweating in here. <laughs> I'm getting hot. I may, I can't decide. The missus is gone, like I said. I'm not sure if we're going to jump in the pool later on or go walk on the beach. I'm not sure. I'll decide. I don't do anything in the middle of the day because it's hot out here. Um, I try to minimize my time in the sun. So, when I swim or walk, if I swim, it's 4, 4.30ish in the afternoon. It gets dark about 6, to 6.30, 12 months out of the year. It, it, it'll fluctuate by about 30 minutes because we're kind of close to the equator, not on the equator, but getting close. The equator runs through Ecuador, I believe. Um, if I walk on the beach, I might wait till 5-ish. And I don't mind finishing up in the dark. I'll carry a flashlight with me. All right, I like to uh, be out there when the sun is down here, not up here. So, all right. Have a great day. Stay safe, everyone. Keep loving life. Eat an apple. Eat a pear. Eat some strawberries. Eat some blueberries. Drink a cup of green tea. All right. So with that being said, Maskies signing out.